Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of We Are What We Eat. If you are joining us for the first time, this is Veronica's channel. In this channel, we discuss about food. Anyway, before I continue, how have you guys been? I know it's quite a while. Sorry. I've been very, very busy, but I have never forget you guys because I know that I have to take care of you guys, you know. And this food is the heart of every man. Yeah, I want to let us know that food is the only drug that is affordable by any man at different stage and level of life, even if you are rich or you are poor. And the drug that can last for a lifetime, that when we take, it does not destroy another organ and we can depend on it. I say this from the medical point of view. As I told you before, I'm a medical pathologist by profession. Drugs are very good when you are sick, but you cannot depend on medical drug all through your lifetime because it gives a lot of work to the kidney and to the liver in order for them to excrete some chemicals that might not be needed at that particular time and in order for them to help you so that the body does not fight itself. Now, but food is a preventive measure as well as even a control measure. In essence, if we eat right, we will be what we eat. As well as if we eat right, we can depend on the food even after finishing the medical drugs and then the food will give a permanent treatment to whatever we are trying to prevent. What kind of name it? Is it body shape? Is it heart disease? Whatever it is. And that is what matters is eat right and eat, eat clean. If you are not so wealthy, you can get food, make sure it is clean and eat it. You, in fact, if you don't have vinegar to clean your food, or if it is fruit, put a pinch of salt in warm water and put whatever vegetable or fruit. Leave it for like five minutes. It's clean and good and ready to eat. Now, I want to say this. In this channel, I encourage people to eat balanced diet. I do not just say eat plant. No. Do not eat one more than the other. And that is where you, you, you hear us start talking about the issue of cholesterol issue. When you are eating food, don't eat. don't over depend on meat. Don't allow the quantity of meat to be more than the quantity of plant. Neither should they allow the quantity of plant to be more than the quantity of meat. They should be balanced. I say that because when we inter when we over depend on one part of food alone, there's always a side effect. I'll give you a practical example. If you always eat plants because you want to maintain body shape or whatever it is, that's very perfect. But you will lose the nutrients that the animals are supposed to give to you. And if you are not very careful, you will have low bio fluid production. This is the substance produced by the liver and saved in the bio duct. In case once there is food intake, especially maybe fatty food intake, and then it stimulates an hormone that will help you the bag to be released for digestion process. You will have a problem with that. And when you have a problem of low bile stimulation, there will be constipation. And then the time there will be bile stone development in the bile duct. Now you will have a lot of symptoms. I'm telling you this from a practical experience. At worst case the doctors will say we are going to remove your bag. It is an organ that it is not too necessary. It's a big fat lie. Every organ in the human body is necessary and very important. Because when you your bile duct is removed, it comes with side effects. Effect of the eyes, because the bile duct has, has to stimulate production of vitamin E, vitamin D, and vitamin A. So you see, what I'm getting at is this. You don't need to lose any food content and you don't need to over depend on any food you need to eat balanced diet mix all together now this channel as we all know help to remind us the benefit of a lot of plants and i will tell you again i'm not saying you should be a vegetarian before i forget you can also have little bile when you also over depend on fatty food especially when you eat the fat that the digestion process is takes a long time that uh, medical issues 
are caused by a lot of factors. And so you need all the food put together. I eat plant as well as I eat animal. I never had that time to have time for my diet because I have a lot to do and then I neglect that. And then my body starts telling me, you can't be a medical person and neglect food. Most uh, treatment I have undergo as a medical practitioner are not through drugs, uh, through food. I'll all right, let's get to what we have today. Today I'll be taking us through a very important plant, ginger, which is widely known and very cheap. This plant, ginger, has a medical history. It was uh, commonly found by the, found by the uh, Asian Greek, Chinese, and the Indians. In fact, if you ask a Chinese person, it will, in fact, this is like giving him a gold. And also in the ancient time, even this ginger was imported by the Euro to America during the time of colonization, when that's the time the importance of ginger. And I want to say, it's no, I'm not just going to give you the medical importance, but I will also tell you from experience what it can help you to achieve. Go out to do sports. The first thing I remember is ginger because it will help to clear the uh, airways. So even if you are using AC, for you it helps in the aspect of cold. Now let's look at the medical importance before I tell you all this other story. It's a good anti-inflammatory. Yes, because it helps to reduce inflation in the body system so and then help to reduce arthritis especially for our aged parent and for those of us who are into sports and exercise it will help a lot then it's also a digestion super it's very good if you are suffering issue of maybe low bile production try ginger it will help you to, for digestion don't forget you have to take all that things to help for the stimulation of your bile, but that's aside. Ginger helps for digestion. And then it helps to control uh, morning sickness for pregnant women. Pregnant women, they are prone to, you know, throw up. But even apart from that, if you have, uh, if you have symptom of ulcers, because sometimes when you have treated your ulcer and you have some some injuries in the stomach there are some things you need to avoid at a particular stage you know and then there are some things that when you eat it's as if you want to throw it doesn't accommodate at that particular moment ginger will help you it helps especially if the stomach has to be release a lot of gas you know and then uh this is because some people who had ulcer and it has been treated and they had injuries you know, when you put some pressure in your bowel and some other organs, gases have been stimulated. So, this ginger help to alleviate the gas. And for migraine too. It's very, very good for uh, menstrual pain. Why? The point is, before you suffer from menstrual pain, and the process whereby the release of that ovary that isn't um, fertilized, there are a lot of factors, not just one factor, I'll just give you some, maybe some uh, infections, you know, uterine infections, vaginal infections, some might be as a result of a lot of sugar, some might be as a result of the force of the coagulation of the blood, you know, gushing out. So, but if you take ginger, ginger, because of the strong antibiotic content or the strong chemical it has, it helps to break down those unwanted elements in this body so that the passage of blood will be smooth and you will not even remember so that's why you see it also helps to reduce the pain and then apart from reducing the pain once the pain is reduced there is a smooth flow of the menstrual, the menstrual cycle so the blood flows off with less stress lower blood sugar of course it helps because it also helps to break down uh, uh, LDL cholesterol. So it helps to lower blood sugar and improve insulin sensitivity. 
It's very also good for type 2 by a diabetes control. Heart disease as a result of reducing cholesterol and high blood pressure too. You know, you know how does it do that? When there is more cholesterol, a lot of pressure in the heart area for blood to be pumped and for circulation to take place. So there's a lot of pressure. But once the cholesterol is reduced, everything flows. You don't need the, the, the heart doesn't need so much uh, pressure you know flow off so that is why we say it helps it's a good antioxidant yet it helps to remove all those elements that are in the body caused by either drugs or stress that the body doesn't need that gives the kidney and the liver a lot of function to do it's good human support beautiful i will tell you this one for a very long experience it's good weight management yes it helps and you take more of water when you take ginger. It prevents cancer. Yes, it prevents cancer because of the chemical properties. It, uh, it improves cognitive memory. Yes, if blood flow properly, get to reduce stress, manage pains. Of course, it will help in improving cognition. Uh, respiratory health. That one we have said it now. You fat, you breathe well when you eat ginger. Okay. Health. Health, God, yes, in and your mouth, you know, try it. If you, it helps when you have toothache, also put in that particular area that you think that is giving you some discomfort. Chew it, leave it there. It will absorb the whatever uh, pathogen that is causing the disease within your mouth. It doesn't mean that they say you should not brush. Anti-aging, of course. This one, at least you can tell from the Chinese people and from the Indians, they will tell you. So, and don't forget, it also helps in circulation. Don't forget, eat a balanced diet. Eating a balanced diet doesn't mean you need to be rich. For women who put to bed newly, from where I come from, there are some spices we used to keep prepare something like a liquid hot soup, we call it pepper soup from my diet or open salad in my diet. Uh, if you can't eat that hot pepper and because some of those spices too are hot, but people from my side you can eat it in yeah, but it's in our gym, but I'm just making a joke. You can use ginger, it will help to clean the uterus. What? Thank you so much. Let's before I forget, please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe because it's you guys that are keeping us in this channel. Hope to see you guys and bye for now.